moisture traps. I've had a few questions about these. Um, some people didn't realise that these things exist, but I'm a child of the 70s and uh, houses in the olden days used to get damp. Crystals go in the top and as air sort of circulates naturally around the room, it's absorbed into the crystals and then it drops down into the little reservoir at the bottom. I've tipped this one out already but it's still got some kind of crystally activity going on in the bottom. This is the one that lives under the sink and you can see it's, it's collected quite a lot of uh, moisture. Um, I like to keep under the sink moisture free because condensation can build up on the grey water. Hilariously, when you buy these, it says it lasts up to three months. I get about three weeks out of these uh, when, I f when I fill it up. And uh, then I have, and I have to keep regularly tipping it out. When in a moving vehicle, you can imagine this is just going to splosh all over the place. So don't forget to empty them, because I have. I got this from uh, Pound Savers. Pound stretch, no, pound stretchers, um, and it's four quid for this big old bag, and this will last you maybe six months or more. If you've got sensitive skin, wear gloves, definitely wash your hands afterwards. It's not like caustic soda that you put down the, down your drain to clean them. It's not, you're not going to be like the exposed bone on the end of your fingers, but don't you know, obviously don't touch your mouth or your eyes or anything wet. This one, the whole top lifts off and you fill the tray. This is probably easier to do than this one, which has got like a little door, little hatch on the top. All the little bargain stores at your Poundland sell them as well. They do like little teeny tiny ones. They're not attractive, but if you look, look at the amount of moisture it draws out of the air uh, and imagine that instead being stuck in, in the walls or in your bedding or in your clothes, these, these quickly pay for their own keep. I was moving a bike and it fell over so I was going around the corner I hadn't strapped it to the sides of the cupboard properly so I've got a split in the floor that's not the only one I've got this is another one here it's about the size of my thumb uh, again that was something that came loose in transit I've got lots of tiny little digs on the floor most of them are not bad at all this one here it's punched through where maybe some moisture or some water has got underneath the adhesives come off come away on the other side um, so maybe I can use uh, a spray adhesive that comes with a fine straw I've got the plastic rollers with a handle that I use to smooth out the silent coat they're really for wallpaper seams but that would be perfect for rolling that little bit of lino flat after I've got some glue underneath it it doesn't even matter if that glue is really really difficult to, to take off that would be ideal in fact because I don't want that lifting up at any time even if when I come to take the lino off I have to really really go to town to scrape that off I'm borrowing some space in the storage unit uh, these are shipping containers and I'm using just a tiny tiny corner of that not taking up much space at all. Well, luckily I have glues and other adhesives. It's right in the doorway. That's gonna get kicked up and destroyed. Well, the only adhesive that I've got that's suitable for the floor is the stuff that sticks it to the floor in the first place. And that's really only just to provide a bit of tack to stop it from moving. This is quite a tear. And the surrounding area is also lifted as well. So I'm gonna trim off the loose bits and anything that's going to stop it from easily bedding back down again. I've got a brush, keep the area dust free, some towels, uh, isopropyl alcohol, one of those to roll it flat, 
tiny screwdriver just to lift it up and tuck things in. I bought this some months ago, months and months ago. Well, I still lived in Essex then. This, uh, it's a cargo net for securing loads. So this shit doesn't happen again. Some dressmaking scissors. Not the surface of the lino. Just the foam backing. Break those raggedy bits off with the tip of this screwdriver that's fairly pointy. Isopropyl alcohol will uh, evaporate pretty much instantly in this heat. It's, uh, it's another hot day. I've chosen to do the one in the doorway first. Um, I reckon that this one I can cover up much more easily than the one that's in the middle of the floor because I can put a rug over this. I can put a doormat over this. I'm experimenting with, uh, yeah, it sticks like shit again. Um, which probably isn't the best thing for it, but it is permanent. Fuck off flies. My hair is infested with those little fucking black flies. Another good thing about this is it is white. Shouldn't react with the foam because it's plastic safe. It's dented the, the lino, so I really am going to have to fill behind it. I've got white spirit to remove the excess of this if, I'm, if the uh, isopropyl alcohol doesn't do the job. Go away wasp! Fuck off wasp! You see? No, isopropyl alcohol does not take that off. Uh, white spirit. Hmm. Oh, it's not looking so bad. Certainly better than it was before. I've just quickly pumped up the tyres. They were just down by a few PSI. But it's safe stopping at a petrol station. That's why I bought that little pump. Um, it's, uh, it's suitable for these great big tyres. Unlike the inflators that you have at petrol stations, which are good enough for a normal small van or a car, you're doing 30, 40 psi, those things are okay, but they really struggle when you start getting up to 65, 70 psi, which 65 at the front, 72 at the back, and that takes forever. If Bostic want to sponsor me, because this is probably, this is one of the few products that I've used from start to end. I mean, this is not paid endorsement, of course, but if they, they want to give me money for saying what I'm going to say anyway. I've taken some more things off the van. Uh, the desktop computer that I've been toting around and not using, that's in there. Um, some other sort of general odds and ends, they've gone in there. It just makes it feel much more open. I've got a gigantic van, I might as well enjoy the space I've got in here. I'm paying for it. The repairs I've done are, they're okay. But the floor does need a good scrub. Um, make myself a coffee. Relax, lock up the unit. And think about what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day.